Thank you very much for virtually attending my presentation. This is joint work with Dirk Slivka and Timo Vogelsang. In this paper, we challenge the common wisdom that incentives always work. In particular, we look at absenteeism. Absenteeism is typically costly for the employer, and the employer can also rarely disclose whether an absent employee is in fact sick or whether she is shirking instead. As such, absenteeism is an example of a moral hazard problem, and it is unclear whether conventional economic incentives, like, for example, an attendance bonus, work. For this purpose, we conduct a firm-level field experiment in collaboration with a retail chain. We introduce two variants of an attendance bonus among the apprentices who are trained to become retail salesmen. We distinguish between a conventional monetary bonus on the one hand and a novel time-off bonus in the form of additional days of vacation on the other hand. This guides us to our research question, is an attendance bonus, money or time, capable of effectively reducing absenteeism in the workplace? The design of the attendance bonus is simple and straightforward. For every month without a single day of absence, an apprentice gets a bonus point. After the end of the experimental period, these bonus points are then converted into actual bonuses. In the money treatment, a maximum of 240 euros can be attained, and in the time treatment, a maximum of four additional days of vacation can be attained. Let me show you the intuitively appealing descriptive results. What you see here is the mean monthly absence share per apprentice in the pre-experimental period. It is around 3%, so out of 100 scheduled days, an average apprentice is absent on three. Let me show you how the share evolves during the experiment. First, we see that the absence share also increases on average in the control group. We use an external control group that shows the same increase, thereby suggesting that this likely reflects a time trend. Most importantly, we find a stark increase in the absence share among those apprentices receiving the monetary attendance bonus. The difference of the magnitude of the change over the time between the control group and the money treatment group is around two percentage points, which corresponds to around one additional day of absence every two months. Among the apprentices receiving the time off bonus, we find roughly the same increase as in the control group, thereby suggesting that the time off attendance bonus was neither harm nor purposeful. Our more refined estimation results are qualitatively identical to these descriptive results. While the result is interesting on its own, we seek to understand the mechanism. For this purpose, we have designed a post-experimental survey in order to evaluate different mechanisms suggested in the literature. We distinguish between two broadly defined mechanisms. In the interest of time, I want to be rather brief and spare you from the details. On the one hand, we consider the psychological costs of absenteeism. Under these costs, we subsume all immaterial consequences that an absent apprentice imposes on herself. We refer to consequences as the perceived likelihood of the consequences that others, such as the firm or colleagues, impose on an absent apprentice. The survey contains different questions pointing to the different potential mechanisms. And from these answers, we construct an index each capturing the psychological costs of absence and the perceived likelihood of the consequences. We find that the psychological cost index differs significantly between treatment groups. In particular, we see that the psychological cost index among the surveyed apprentices receiving the monetary bonus is around half a standard deviation lower than among the surveyed apprentices in the control group. However, we find no corresponding effect in the perceived likelihood of the consequences. We therefore deem the psychological costs of absenteeism as the decisive mechanism. Let me wrap up. The attendance bonus does not show the intended effect. Neither the time nor the monetary attendance bonus serve to systematically reduce absenteeism. Instead, the monetary attendance bonus even increases absenteeism on average. The time bonus, on the other hand, does neither prove purpose nor harmful. We provide suggestive evidence that the monetary attendance bonus relaxes the psychological costs of absenteeism and thereby makes absenteeism appear more legitimate. Or put differently, the monetary attendance bonus tends to lead the apprentices to think that regularly coming to work is extraordinary and worth rewarding. Thank you.